Well, welcome to the channel. My name is Chris. I run Dark Blue Charters here in Manistee, Michigan, which is a world-class salmon and trout fishery. I've been fishing for salmon and trout for nearly 25 years, and I'll give you some of the insight that I have on which lures that I run, which rod and reels I compare them. Are. I'm going to make this really, really easy, too. We're going to start off with a really basic setup for lures. So let's cut through some of this confusion. If you're brand new here, or even if you're a seasoned angler, you might get something out of this. All right, let's get going here. So we'll start with spoons. I'm gonna give you a small sample size. But if you run these spoons or any of the other rigs I'm gonna show you, I can almost guarantee you, you're gonna start off catching some fish. Now, if you don't know how to run these things, that's fine. Just check this channel out that you're on right now. I'll put some links down below in the description, show you how to run spoons, flasher fly, meat rigs, plugs. I'll show you how to set up divers, flashers and flies and everything else. All right, let's start right here. Seven spoons. These are spoons that have been very good for me over the last few years. Dreamweaver, Fuzzy Bear, Shelly Snack. Excellent spoon right there. Moonshine, Green Jeans. In the RV or the standard. And what I mean by RV or UV, it's that tape that's on there that gives it a little more flash. Moonshine or Dreamweaver. Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread has been around for a long, long time and it's ugly as sin, but it catches fish. Again, Moonshine or Dreamweaver. The spoon that caught the Michigan state record king salmon right there. The Moonshine Raspberry Carbon. Excellent spoon. You can run this thing all day long. It also comes in an RV or a UV. The Blue Jeans. This one again is in the RV series. This is a Moonshine. Dreamweaver also makes an excellent one. That thing right there has put many, many fish in the boat for us over the years. Statistically, my best spoon over the last six or seven years. The Dreamweaver, super slim size. It's the Glow Frog with the white belly. They make one with a silver belly, but make sure you get the one with the white belly. That thing in the SS size or super slim size has put tons of fish in the boat. And then my number one spoon over the last two years by far, this is the Dreamweaver A-Bomb in the SS size. You can get that thing in the mag size as well. That thing right there is a fish magnet. All right, let's get on to rotators or spin doctors or flashers, some people call them. Either way, they all work. Now what I'm gonna give you here today is six of these. But understand, the flies and the meat rigs I'm going to show you with these are all compatible. So you can mix and match any way you, any way you please. We'll start off right here. The Dreamweaver 11-inch paddle in the Double Pearl Glow, also known as the Double Slick. Beckold also makes one. Both are outstanding. This with a 36 to a 44-inch leader to a fly on your deepest downrigger or your deepest presentation is a great thing to have on the line all day long. The 8-inch or the 10-inch Dreamweaver Spin Doctor Double Slick or Double Pearl Glow. This, historically, has been my number one rotator for several years. Just one thing to remember, if you're going to run a fly, run the 8-inch Spin Doctor. If you're going to run a meat rig, run the 10-inch Spin Doctor, and that goes for all of these. The Dreamweaver Spin Doctor Two-Face, 8-inch for the flies again, 10-inch for the meat rigs. This thing on bright sunny days, this thing is an absolute destroyer. The Dreamweaver Spin Doctor Black Double Pearl or Black Double Slick. On your cloudier days, instead of running that white Double Slick, or on foggy days as well, run the black one. You're going to put fish in the boat. And then one of the most popular ones on the Great Lakes, the Dreamweaver Spin Doctor Kevin's Girlfriend. Again, 8-inch or 10-inch. That flasher right there has put some huge fish in the boat for us for several years. Okay, let's get into fly. If you don't know how to rig up a flasher fly, again, just head down to the description in this video, and the video links will be right there for you. I'm only going to give you four. And again, you can mix and match these four flies with any of the rotators you see in front of you. The KRW Riverside Fly. This thing right there is an absolute monster. Uh, if you talk to anybody that's sam been salmon fishing for any length of time, they're going to tell you about that fly, and it will go on any of those rotators. This is the Dreamweaver Pickled Sunshine Fly. Again, this thing is an absolute beast out there. One of the top producing flies on the Great Lakes. You can see I have it right now on my Dreamweaver 11-inch paddle. This fly just came out last season, and it was by far my number one fly all year long. This is the KRW HT Blue Green Dolphin Fly. Again, compatible with any of the rotators you see in front of you. Last, but definitely not least, the KRW Aqua Gold Glow Fly. This thing has put so many fish in the boat over the years. And again, compatible with any of those rotators that you see in front of you. Meat rigs definitely put big fish in the boat. 
Now again, if you're going to be running meat rigs, I highly recommend running them behind the 10-inch Dreamweaver Spin Doctors. You can run them behind the big paddles, but the 10-inch Spin Doctors can definitely produce a little better for you. One of the hottest meat rigs on the market for a good reason, the Dreamweaver Pickled Sunshine Meat Rig, also known as the Cutbait Rig. This thing right here has put so many fish in the boat for not only myself, but many other captains on the Great Lakes. This one doesn't have a label on it, but this is the Dreamweaver Green Mile. Now, other companies also make this. This meat rig has been difficult to find over the last few years. But if you can get your hands on some, this is an absolute fish catcher. All right, last song I'm going to show you is made by GRC. This is one of their meat rigs. GRC has really come on the market strong in the last few years, and they make some outstanding products. This one is the SS RD Stud Meat Rig. A lot of flash to it, a lot of great color, and again, it will go with any of those rotators that you see in front of you. Trolling plugs, made by Silver Horde or Dreamweaver, both make a great product. And one of these you may not be able to find, but I'll give you an alternative. The Green Splatterback, great plug, great glow, takes a lot of big fish. This is the Silver Horde Mother of Pearl plug. Again, another great plug, puts big fish in the boat. This is the Silver Horde White Lightning Plug, and it is very difficult to find right now. If you're able to find some, grab them. If you can't find these, grab the Dreamweaver Double Glow, the Captain's Choice Dreamweaver Double Glow Plug, another outstanding plug. All right, all of those lures should definitely get you started out there on the Great Lakes. And just remember, you can run any of those on downriggers, divers or long lines, whether it be lead core or copper. Okay, now I'm going to give you some rod and reel options. Again, I'm going to give you the budget option, the middle of the road option, and the premium option. One of those should fit your budget. Starting off with the reels, starting off with the budget option, and these reels are really by no means budget. These are the Akuma Convector Series, and I use these on the boat all the time. One thing I will recommend if you're running the Akuma Convector, Go down below and look up Mascot Reel Service. Send your reels in, have your drags upgraded. For a small fee, you will turn this budget reel into a premium reel in a short amount of time for a short amount of money. But this is the reel that I use primarily for all my long lines, my lead core and my coppers. But you can also use them for divers. You can also use them for downrig. The 55 size is the size that I use for all of my long lines. Everything from short coppers and cores all the way up to 450 coppers. If you're going to use them for downriggers, I would recommend the 45 size and the same size for divers. But again, I strongly recommend that you get your drags upgraded by Mascot Reel Service. Again, another Akuma Convector series in the 55 size. I have a five color on here. My theory is get as much backing as you can on there because an angry king salmon is gonna test your equipment. So even though I have a short lead core on there, only a five color, I have a larger size reel so I can have more backer on there. I highly recommend that. For middle of the road option, this is the Akuma Cold Water series. Outstanding reels. You'll see that this one has a line counter on it. If you're going to be running these for your divers or your downriggers, I highly recommend you get the type with the line counter option. These also come in the 35, the 45, and the 55 sizes, so you can get these options for downriggers, divers, and your long lines. Okay, for your premium option, this is the Daiwa Salta series. And again, this comes in both line counter and non-line counter, and also in the three sizes, 30, 40, and 50 size. I use these on my downriggers and my divers, and I can tell you from experience, these are absolutely liquid smooth. These are the only reels that I know of and have been told by others that you do not need to get your drags upgraded. They come with top-of-the-line drag options. That also comes with a price. If that is not in your budget, the other options that I showed you, the, the cold waters and the convectors, absolute great options. I run them all the time. And again, if you get your drags upgraded, you won't be sorry. Let's figure out some rods to put those reels on. For downriggers, I don't have an example here in front of me, but if you look up the Daiwa Wilderness Series in the eight foot six, I have been running those on the charter boat now for four years and I absolutely love them. But what I really love about them is you can find them for about $20. So Daiwa Wilderness in the eight foot six series, Outstanding rods, good price. For copper and lead core, Akuma makes a rod specific for that. The Akuma Classic Pro GLT Great Lakes Trolling Copper Lead Core Rod. And the specs on that is 
the CP-CL-862M, 8 foot 6. It comes with stainless steel eye guides, which is outstanding for your copper, your weighted steel, and your lead core. And these rods are very durable. These are the rods I see most commonly run by charter captains out on the Great Lakes. You can find these at most tackle shops, including Tangle Tackle here in Manistee, for right around the $50 range. For your divers, I highly recommend these rods. I was looking for a rod like this for years. Finally, Akuma came out with these, and I've never looked back. So these are the Akuma Convector Pro wire lines, wire line rods. These have the stainless steel eye guides and a twilly tip at the end, which is just a spring system to keep that wire line from digging into that last island. The specs on this is the CPS-W-902MH. This is a nine foot. I recommend the nine foot for your low divers or your inside divers and the 10 foot for your high divers, also known as your outside divers. And you can find these in most tackle shops for somewhere in the, I would say the $130 to $150 range. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope this helped you out in some way. If you're brand new to Great Lakes trolling, I'm sure this will help shorten out the learning curve for you quite a lot. If you're an experienced angler, maybe you got something out of this as well. If I missed some of your favorites, put them in the comments. I'd like to see what everybody else would recommend. And if you're brand new to this channel, we do a live stream every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Leave a like, subscribe if you're not already, and go catch a state record. Good luck, everyone.